happy home opener from Fenway. Chilling with my guy, Levin Reed. Yeah! Yeah, it's about that time. I've heard. Doesn't it feel like spring? Feels like the AFC Championship game, but maybe that's why I'm doing these cold home openers here at Fenway. Can you believe these guys had 50 days in Florida, and this is their reward? <laughs> Seriously, welcome back. 18 degree weather at 2.05 when it's going to be the warmest, but you know what? It's baseball season, so sooner or later, and it seems to be later, it's going to get warm. It's game time nevertheless at 2.05, so yeah. let's, let's talk about this team going into it. I mean, obviously coming in, 5-1, and one, feeling pretty good about where things are at. What's impressed you most about this, this squad? Should have been 6-0, and oh, actually, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because that game that, that, that they lost in the first one, they've won it. They seem to have a different attitude the way they're going about games. Guys, guys seem to be a little bit together, but first and foremost, the starting pitching has been outstanding. Record you know, the record-setting right? starting pitching that they've been able to get these guys through. And, and, and with that said, they haven't played. They played the Marlins. And they played the Tampa <laughs> Bay Rays, but right. you're supposed to be who you're supposed to be. Starting pitching is pitching well, which they should this early in the season. So let's hope that continues. And they just can't get enough of the Florida fact they're having the Rays back here again. So I know. I, eventually, they're gonna have to play a, a team not from the state of Florida. <laughs> <Eventually>. you <know? laughs> it does kind of still fun. feel like spring training a little bit, right? Spring training a little bit. And you know what? You get a chance to see David Price again, who wanted to put 2017 behind him. Uh, he did it his first game. Now mm-hmm. let's see if he can do it another game. He gets the, the, this is his second home opener in the three years that he's been here. So it'll be good for him. Him being one of the, the faces of the franchise, if you will. I mean, just what what is the bar for these guys, would you say, coming off the back-to-back division crowns? I, I, I would think that you're, you're looking to go further in the playoffs. You're looking to go. You add a big bat in J.D. Martinez. Hopefully he can get going. You still have strong pitching, and you still got the core group, whether it be Benintendi, Betts, uh, Xander Bogarts, and G- – you know, J.B. Dre, Hanley seems to be playing better now that he's not DHing. He's playing first base and he's mm-hmm. doing his thing. So you have guys who can play. Now just put it all together against some of the better teams in, like whether it be Houston or New York or even Toronto and Baltimore in this division. Small sample size, but how would you say Alex Cora has made his presence known? Um, I, I can tell you that they're, they're, the games are a lot shorter, so they are swinging earlier in the count. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, but they're not waiting. Everybody, everybody, everybody's <laughs> thankful for that.